All right. What's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We're going to be breaking down BKKT. Okay, this is backed holdings. Uh, I've got a lot of requests for an update on this one in the comment section. So, you know, if there's any other stocks you guys would like an update on or a stock you want me to cover, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I do the viewer requests every single week. All right. We're going to jump straight into it. Um, last time we looked at it, you know, we looked at a few things, right? And we basically showed that BKKT was uh, essentially, you know, a little bit oversold, right? Undervalued. We went over the intrinsic value, okay? Um, and looked at a few of those things, all right? That was like the main thing we were looking at. Today, I'm just going to highlight a little bit of uh, backed, okay, BKKT, right? They have a lot of partnerships, all right? MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Finastra, all of these, okay, um, are already existing relationships with BKKT, all right? And ICE is the parent company, all right? And that's the company that owns the New York Stock Exchange, all right? So BKKT is really positioned well for crypto regulation once that regulation does happen. And once that regulation does happen, there's going to be trillions of dollars coming in uh, to the cryptocurrency market, right? So, you know, uh, you have to ask yourself, you know, what companies are going to be positioned well for that. And in my opinion, BKKT is all right. Um, now, I don't own any shares of BKKT personally. Right. Um, you know, I'm much more of a trader. Uh, but, you know, those are some of the things that I want to point out to you guys. OK. Um, and, you know, they recently just put out a study. OK. Bloomberg did, um, you know, uh, how nearly 50% of gig workers are open to getting paid a portion in crypto, right? And it, and if you read into this, it goes in and it says that about 20% have already been accepting payments in crypto. Um, and, you know, that's, that's essentially what we're looking for, right? You know, people are thinking cryptocurrency is going to be the currency of the future. Um, and, you know, this is just a survey kind of uh, supporting that thesis, right? So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the chart. And I'll really break it down for you guys. We're going to start off looking at the weekly chart so we can take a look at the volume profile. OK, these bars over here are very, very important. All right. Um, this blue stuff. And we're going to make it really big so that you guys can see and uh, understand what I'm, you know, basically have going on with this. Right. So when you're looking at volume by time, typically is going to be like the volume over here. OK, you know, the volume, you can see what day or what week or what hour. But volume by price is really, really critical and important. What you're going to see is we're going to move from high volume nodes to high volume nodes. OK, so look at how we have a very large high volume node right here. And this is where we bottomed out. OK, this is where buyers started to step in and we saw a lot of action. All right. And we come up here. Our next highest volume node is going to be right here at the 476 level. OK, so about 440 to 476. So if we want to continue pushing. OK, we know that 476 is going to be an area where the price is drawn to. OK, these are the areas with the largest amount of volume by price is going to be 664, um, you know, all the way down to 209. OK, so that's really if you're asking me, that kind of seems to be where a lot of there's a lot of institutional buyers, perhaps. OK, a lot of institutional money uh, could be at these lower price levels here. OK. Um, so, you know, for right now, those are going to be the main ranges that I'm looking at. OK, so we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more now to the daily chart. And so you guys can actually get a good breakdown of the levels um, and things are playing out nicely. OK, uh, according to, you know, my last update and what, you know, could happen. All right. We still have the box consolidation. All right. Now we had two, um, you know, failed breakouts. OK, we had a breakout look below and, and fail. And then we come back into the box consolidation, but things still look pretty good. Okay. Um, as you know, there's three stages to a reversal. Okay. So you have your downtrend from here up around $7. Okay. Then you have your box consolidation and then you have the reversal. You have the uptrend. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at specifically on BKKT uh, for trades and setups, right? Um, I'm looking personally for it to break above these levels, all right, and start opening and closing above and try to ride that momentum up, okay? Um, this is a little bit of a risky area to uh, start grabbing a position because we're at the top of this box consolidation, and we could repeat the pattern of dropping back down, okay? But, you know, lots of momentum, um, you know, crypto has been performing pretty well. BKKT has been performing pretty well. All right. So really this uh, 322 support level, 
um, is really the level that we need to keep and maintain. Okay, we were able to close above that level today. That's the 78.6 level on our fibs. Um, I'll be looking for the move up here to about 420. All right. 420 is going to be my next major resistance wall. OK, um, and that can be another area where we could, uh, you know, start taking some profits along the way. If you are riding this momentum up above 420, we're going to have 487 and then five dollars, 55 cents and then six point four. OK, so remember what we said about the high volume nodes. Um, you know, these are areas of high volume. So uh, it should be good, you know, to get in and out of, right? You should be able to get in and out fairly quickly um, at prices you like, things like that. We still have the bullish divergence, okay? So uh, if you look through this box consolidation, clearly we're going sideways, but look at our relative strength index, right? The RSI is displaying that the relative strength is still increasing and heading upwards, all right? So we have actually a little bit of what I'd say a bullish channel, okay, on the uh on the rsi for this okay you can see you know we're moving very nicely up down up down in between this range we are approaching overbought territory um on the daily chart of 70 okay but that doesn't mean that things um can't continue running just because they're approaching the oversold level okay uh or i'm sorry overbought level <clears throat> all right so you know Things look really good. We did get that gap fill. OK, so, you know, I remember telling people if you want to play the gap, we have a nice daily gap up to 334 with bullish divergence. Um, those are, you know, nice signs to enter into a swing trade. Right. So I uh, really like what I'm seeing here. Um, if I go ahead and take out this box real quick. All right. You can see here that we are trading you know, at the upper part of our Bollinger Bands here, okay, which is a good sign. This means that we're bullish, okay? So, um, you know, if you notice each time it comes out of the Bollinger Bands, the price action quickly snaps back in, okay? But we're going to be looking to keep holding this middle Bollinger Band as support and keep the uptrend, okay? We want to trade in the top half of the Bollinger Bands. Um, and as I said, you know, we are approaching the uh, overbought territory, and we did go outside of the Bollinger Bands, but we closed in them today. Um, you know, so just be prepared. If we do have a pullback, it's not the end of the world. There is plenty of room uh, for a healthy pullback. Okay, we could drop all the way back down to like 280, 275 in between that range um, and find some support. Okay, 322 is that major level, though. Um, you know, if we want to stay bullish and keep going up in the, in the short term, we need to, you know, hold that level. Okay, so. Those are the two levels that I'm watching right now. We could go ahead and get rid of this gap since that gap went ahead and filled. And hopefully you like this video and like this update, okay? Um, you know, things are looking good, all right? We got the box consolidation. We're trying to break out. We've got a bullish channel on the RSI, the relative strength index. Um, and, you know, we uh, could be making that third stage of the reversal, okay? Again, the downtrend, the sideways consolidation, and then the reversal to the upside, all right? Uh, if we do get a full reversal, okay, uh, full retracement back up to 776. Um, that would be, you know, some really, really nice profits. Okay. So don't miss out on the rally and, you know, don't be scared if there is a pullback shortly. All right. We want to hold 322 and we want to hold around 275. All right. Um, so yeah, thank you. I'm out.